Nice work. Got a nice one on, just threw it, just got it out right on the point. I think he caught it on the way down. On the wacko? On the wacko worm. Nice job. Love that bee. All right, they're finally getting a look at him. Oh yeah, that's oh, a nice Oh, that's fish. a good one, Chris. That's a good one. That's what we came here for, right? Yep. Oh, oh nice yeah. fish. Beautiful. Today at Midwest Outdoors, I'm Matt Pachanich. This is Chris Johnson. We're on the Bay of Green Bay chasing smallmouth. We have a beautiful day. It's gonna be fun. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Beautiful. Nothing like fishing offshore, huh? No, not at all. I love that offshore stuff. And very hard to beat that four inch sticko in the green pumpkin copper car, green pumpkin color. Just your standard drop shot rig. I have a little bit longer leader on here, so I'm about two feet because I'm casting out um, maybe 30 yards in front of the boat and covering a lot of water, looking for some biting fish and uh, come up across the point here and finally caught this one. Good one, Chris, good one. <laughs> oh, wow. Got a drag screamer here. Boy, he hit it as soon as it hit the bottom. That drop shot weight hit the bottom like you said. And boy, he just hammered it. Whew. Man, they pull. Wow, that is a nice fish, nice too. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. They are chunking it up already, wow, aren't they? Oh, there's a decent one for sure. Nice fish. You can definitely tell he rolled on it because he's got it in his bottom lip. Green pumpkin matching the hatch out here on the bay. Doubles, Chris. We got doubles, baby. I'll grab this one. I'll get the net in case you got a big one. This one's got some spirit. I don't know how big he is yet. Yeah. Oh. Not bad. Not a bad dark county small. Oh, that's a nice one there. Whacking him on the wacko. I lost oh. mine. You still got yours. Nothing like catching doubles, huh? Not at all. I'll this tell is you what, the best. I take that a couple times a day. Starting to feed up for fall. You can see how yeah, chunky they're starting to get. Absolutely. Let's get them back. I think there's a school down there. What Absolutely. Do you think? We don't want to blow off this too far. Yep. I'll tell you what's real interesting out here. Anytime you're fishing the Great Lakes, they're completely loaded with gobies. And just a second ago, we snagged the goby. And gobies have a, a real green pumpkin and they got a purple kind of hue to them. And, you, and that's why you can tell we chose the green pumpkin Kalen's wacko worm today to match and imitate this goby. And you don't want to overshake these baits because these smallmouth out here in the Great Lakes kind of shy away from real aggressive a lot of times. So we're just kind of sitting here and holding it, shaking it a little bit and holding it. And uh, that's how we caught those last fish. Well, you get right across the top of this spine here and they are just stacked up on top of it. Hey, that graph's lighting up so much, Chris, it's hard for me to set my rod down and net this one for you. I want to keep fishing. <laughs> Coming up. Whoa. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, are they loaded down there or yeah. what? Yeah. My gosh. Well, there's some obviously some competition because they're rolling on rolling on these baits and catching them in the bottom lip like that. They're fighting, huh? Well, isn't oh, it yeah. incredible how the sinker hits the bottom? You lift up, and, and he's there. They're just loading up on it. So yeah, they're definitely they're definitely fighting over it. That cloud rolled over and it slowed down for a second. It did. And it just it move did. Around Boy, and... you spoiled us here right out of the gates. <laughs> hey, you ain't kidding. Come on, big girl. Oh, Ooh. yeah, he's a puller. Putting about as much pressure as I can on an eight pound test right now. <laughs> and I thought it was little. Look at that. Look at that. I'm, I'm pulling. It's, this thing's wearing me out. Here wearing comes. me out. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There's a good one. Nice. That is a beauty. Look at that. Drop shot with the Kalen's wacko. Look at that bottom lip again. Yep. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish, you ain't kidding. Well, I'll tell you what, we pull up on this spot and Chris said, bomb it out there, kind of follow it down and just hold it. We're not overshaking the bait. That's one key trick is you don't want to overshake it because those fish should just come up to it and swim right away. And just keep that rod at a 45, keep tension on the line and they will load up on it. So some of the baits that we're using today is the Kalen's Wacko Worm, available in four and five inch, and the Seismic Grub, which is kind of a half grub, half paddle tail, and the three inch and the 3.8. We're taking this grub and rigging on an eighth ounce head and counting it down to about five because there's a lot of bait fish and fish suspended about halfway down the water column. And whether you're fishing a paddle tail bait like this or a traditional grub, you always want to throw it out, count it down to that magical depth, 
and just a slow, steady retrieve right back. We're fishing the wacky worm on a drop shot. About an 18-inch lead, hook that worm right in the center. And one key about the drop shot is you want to make sure your hook sits out horizontal. You never want to rig your hook upside down or anything like that because it's not going to look natural. Oh, Chris, I'll tell you what, I kept that thing really high in the water column because you said, look at all the bait up high, look at all the bait up high. Oh, that is a stud. Oh, did he just smoke it. Nice. Oh, that's a stud. Well, had an awesome day on the bay, Chris. If people want to get out with you, how are they going to hold you? Go right on uh, the web, uh, www.fishcrazygs.com. To check out all of our fine Kalen's products, go to UncleJosh.com. I'm Matt Pachanich with Chris Johnson in Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.